So now today, we learn the authorities have searched the suspect's property in South Carolina, okay? And what they found could lead them to more cases. What did they find? Why does it matter? Former FBI agent, News Nation Law and Justice contributor, the Coffindaffer, Jennifer Coffindaffer. Jennifer. Hi, you said it would expand. Jesus. Better. Uh, they said you said it would expand. You would say we'd have to see how and why. What have we learned? Well, we learn now uh, what they're looking for in South Carolina. Now, many of these items you would expect, but some of these items you wouldn't. They're not boilerplate. Let me give you some examples. The bounty paper towels. This tells me that possibly he used this for cleanup. Possibly they were actually on part of the victims. And so they want to hook into a bounty paper towel that's connected with one of these homes so they can hook him to that. Secondarily, Chris, and this is odd, they want dog cages, litter, animal cages. They had this all listed. This made me think that maybe they have found other dog cages and things where there has been evidence. So not pro forma. These are not the things that Coffin Daffer went looking for case yeah. by case. It's not the template or the macro. Distal ends of black letter goods, devices utilized to stamp letters onto leather goods. That's anything but random. Why would they want that? Oh, that's a good one also, and that's because the restraints that were found on one of the victims likely had these stamped impressions of some nature, and so they're looking to see where that stamp is. Are there other belts or restraints that had stamps similar? Well, that's kind of spooky, isn't it? Doesn't it seem to suggest not that uh, let's uh, are they just saying we want to see if there are more restraints or that this guy had some kind of special brand? or imprint that he was putting on the straps. How do you read it? Oh, I read it that he uses things for a very specific reason, bounty paper towels. I mean, to tell you the truth, bounty is the best. And that's what he was apparently using as a part of the these quicker crimes. picker upper. These stamps could be on, that's right. The stamps could be on a very particular kind of restraint that he liked or a particular kind of belt. And what if he personalized them? you know, with a special stamp. I've seen that before in a case. Huh. And South, so this all indicates to you that they know more uh, than they have revealed, and they're looking in specific places for specific things. This doesn't sound um, the generic way we do all these cases. Correct. I mean, there were many items on there that are completely boilerplate. No matter what the case is, you're going to ask for those items. That's a given, but you're not going to ask in the specificity they have regarding these items we've just talked about. It's very unique. It's unique to this case, and they've tied it together with the victims. Now they're trying to tie it together back to one of these homes. Um, Dusty is interested in the fact that they found a child-sized doll in Massapequa. Was that that uncommon? I mean, I don't know what his situation is with his kids and whether he has grandkids. Why? This doll is very unique, Chris. First of all, it's, as you can see on your monitor, it's big, it's large, and they're not going to take it unless they believe it's evidentiary. So what is that doll dressed in? That was the first thing that came to mind. Could that be some way that maybe something taken from one of the victim's uh, garment is on that doll? Did he use that doll uh, to sort of play with, if you will, uh, in, during his fantasies when he wasn't able to victimize somebody? They're taking it for a very specific reason, and that doll is important. What about the wife's Facebook page? Well, the wife's Facebook page is going to be very important because it could lead us to when she was out of town. Uh, that's going to be important because his M.O. is when his wife is gone, that's when the cats will play. That's when he's bringing these girls back to his home, I think, and committing these crimes. So essentially, if they can see what her travel was, and often people reflect that in their social media, I think they're going to have more direct pointers to when these crimes could have occurred. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com. 
newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.